Hello, this is Aaron, and today is the twentieth of July, Friday, and I just finished work today in the Institute of Public Affairs. So before I talk about what I did this week, I would like to thank you very much for the opportunity for sending me to Melbourne、uh, to have a work experience in the Institute of Public Affairs, and it was a really surprising experience that when I first arrived, I was assigned to work on a legal rights project, which is closely connected to my legal background. So,、um, what Institute of Public Affairs does? It is a research and advocacy think tank, which focuses on the debates of climate change, freedom of speech, taxations, and energy, etc., etc. So there are a lot of different teams、uh, specified to work on different projects. So me and my supervisor Morgan is working on the legal area. And how specific freedoms are safeguarded or impaired by government actions, and how are these constitutional under the Australian constitutional law? So I would like to talk about what I did this week. So for the first week that I had just now,、um, I mainly worked on a project called the Legal Rights Project. So it is a specific project under the Institute of Public Affairs, which focuses on freedom of speech. And constitutional law, etc. And the specific topic that I'm working on currently is called the retrospective legislation. So, what is retrospective legislation? It is an act of the parliament that has effect before the date of commencement. So, basically, there's a law, and the parliament draws up a law and passes it in the legislation in, in the in the legislature that is the parliament. But that law is effective. Before the day they passed it, so the problem is the citizens in Australia do not have any chance to see that piece of legislation, but their act is governed by that anyway. So,、uh, which is quite strange, and it is not very common in Hong Kong or in other common law jurisdiction, which are quite against this idea because it creates uncertainty. But、uh, when I when I first did a quantitative research on how many Retrospective legislations are there in Australia. There are a lot, so I found more than one thousand three hundred items in Australia that has retrospective effect, which is not which is not really a good way, as we were we were surprised by the result.、Um, I think next week I will be working on the context of these retrospective legislations and try to categorize. These legislations and if they can be justified or if it is worse, some of these are taxations and which is a bad thing because in Australia there are serious.、Um, the government alleges that people afford tax, and to make the people pay for the tax they afforded legally, they make these actions illegal in the future in a later date. Um, it is very controversial, and I will be looking into these kind of regulations and laws, etc., in the coming weeks. So hopefully, I'll find something more interesting to include in the legal rights projects and the reports.、Um, besides work,、um, I also like to talk about the weather. The weather is really great, but、um, because it's summer in Hong Kong, and it's winter in Melbourne and in Australia, and Melbourne is particularly cold, but not too cold、uh, compared to other countries. Now it's usually from nine to eleven degrees Celsius, but they have heaters. On the street, it's quite chilling, and the coffee here is amazing. And I developed the habit the the habit of getting a coffee each day to get me through the to get me through the day.、Um, once again, I really appreciate Lion Rock Institute for sending me to Melbourne for this wonderful work experience. Especially, I am particularly grateful for. Matching me with this legal project, which I am really interested and excited on. So I think that's it. Have a good weekend.